Good evening. My name is Margarita Estrada. I am Vice President Membership for Impact 21 Toastmasters. Today, I will be teaching you how to go into our Impact 21 Toastmasters website, impact21.toastmastersclubs.org, so that you can, number one, learn how to set up your password. Number two, how do you sign up for roles and speeches? Number three, how you create your profile online? And number four, different information that you can find on the website. So let's get started. I will be sharing the screen. So here is the home page of our website. There is a message from Dorcas, who of course you know is our president. There is a video on what a regular Toastmasters meeting is like. Of course, this one shows an in-person meeting, but I would say that the energy is the same. Testimonials from World Champion, Champions of Public Speaking. I think there's about four or five of them in this particular video. The 10 Pathways Paths, I think now we have like 12 or 13. It has expanded since that time. And of course, if you're ready to attend a meeting, if you're a new person, you will click on that. So let's go back. When you see this prompt here, it says about Impact 21. And when you click on that, it gives a description of what our club is about and the personality of our club. It states how many members we are connected to around the world, how many countries we're in and how many clubs we are a part of. And isn't it interesting how even though we're just in New Jersey, but that we are part of this very broad network. And I think that that is extremely exciting. So as we go back to the homepage and we click here where it says learn more after we hear a little bit about the Pathways Learning Experience, that prompt takes you to the Pathways page. And there, as you click the prompts, it clearly states what Pathways is about, how many paths are included, what you need to do. And of course, any questions that you have, you can ask Manny Reyes. Manny Reyes, who is our mentorship chair, teaches Pathways classes every first and third Friday of the month. On this third prompt, it says how anyone can become a member. So if you are a present member of Impact 21, you can definitely refer your family, your friends, or anyone that would like to join to this particular page. It clearly states the process on how people can become a member. Again, it shows the video of the Toastmasters Club experience. It gives a club member testimonial. It shares an infographic, which states, well, how do you set yourself for an online meeting as far as lining, uh, microphone, and so on. There is a link to a brochure or a flyer that is called Finding Your Voice, because I think in the beginning, people join Toastmasters initially, because sometimes they have the fear of public speaking or they want to be better communicators. But what has to be found out is what is really the purpose? Is it to enhance a future dream, a present dream, or what is the driver, right? Because it's that driver that will take the new member or the current member to the next level. Then you have the Pathways Educational Program Flyer, which is like a synopsis of the Pathways Educational Program. And it's a very good idea for you to look at this before you take 
the class by Manny Reyes because it'll give you a little bit of a background. Then I'll, I'll outline the different electives in the Pathways Program. And this is, I believe, one of the many reasons why the Pathways Program is so popular. Because as you look at the topics, you can clearly see that these are areas in which we can work on and improve right now in this stage that we're living through COVID-19 and being isolated, right? To focus on the positive, to inspire your audience, being effective in visual aids, creating a podcast, right? Building a social media presence, writing a compelling blog, managing online meetings, public relations strategies. So all of these things that are in the level three, four, and five electives will be very useful and they're transferable skills. So once a person has looked through all of those options and they decide, okay, I want to become a member, then they could click on this link for the new member application, the photo release form, the video release form. Now, the photo and video release in particular are extremely important because presently we are meeting online and of course, many of the meetings are recorded. We ask those members who would not like to be recorded to please stop their video. But for those of you that don't mind, uh, fill out the video release form and the photo release form. And of course, a member application if you want to become a member. Going forward, there is a sample of membership fees of what you would pay as a new member the first time and then in the second half. Now, in the first half, there is a, there's a $20 one-time fee, and that's to access the Pathways Educational Experience. That you only pay that $20 for that one time, and then afterwards, you, you do not. And then as you can see in the second cycle, the $20 are not included. So once you decide that you have want to become a member, then of course we have mentorship available and that you would speak to Manny Reyes, who's our mentorship chair. So how do you establish a member login, right? So simple, you click on member login. Now the vice president of education, once you become a member, there is a database that they will add your name. And when you type your name, your name will, the first letters of your name, your name will appear. Now, if you have not been a member yet, you will click on authenticate login there is an email that will come to you to authenticate your login and to create a password. And once you do that, then you will come back to the site and enter with the password that you have created. Okay, so now I am in as a member. So is there, in the members only, portal, you click on meeting agendas, and here it shows the agenda for the next meeting. Our Vice President of Education, Lauren Taylor, is the one that sets this up. So here you see all the meetings that are set up going forward. So even if you would like to set up your, your meeting role or your speaking roles, you can do so ahead of time. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yes. So here you can decide you know, what roles you're going to sign up for. For those of you who are new members, I will give you an explanation of what each of these roles entails, just a, a, a quick synopsis, right? So the Toastmasters, of course, is the one that really leads the meeting. 
Sergeant at Arms opens the meeting with the Toastmasters mission. The joke and inspirational thought starts over by the joke or an inspirational thought, something that to think about. The grammarian looks out for arms, ah, he knows, and also picks the word of the day. Now, many clubs have the grammarian and our counter as one person, and we normally do. However, we're trying to split it in half. So far, it has not worked, but it may one day. The timer, of course, makes sure that the meeting is, is goes at the pace that it's supposed to so that nobody really uh, talks too much. There are, uh, there are green, yellow, and red cards for each role so that once you see the red card, you have to stop speaking. The listener role is someone who listens throughout the meeting and then at the end of the, of the meeting, they ask questions to the members just to make sure that they were paying attention to what's going on. Then here, of course, you would sign up for your roles and your speeches, right? Your table topics master is someone who asks you uh, or what we call the elevator speech, right? So you have one to two minutes to answer the questions. So that's a table topics master. The general evaluator is the one that handles the evaluation portion of the meeting. We consider this part of the meeting the most crucial one because it tells us, well, how well did we do? First, it starts with those that evaluate all the speeches. And then the grammarian delivers their, their report, the odd counter and so on. And then at the end, then the general evaluator gives the synopsis of the whole meeting and where the meeting needs improvement. Our vice president of education then asks uh, what roles will be called, what roles people would like to cover for the next meeting. And as always, the president closes the meeting. So if you will notice here, if you click the down arrow, all the pathways paths are here from dynamic leadership, pathways effective coaching and so on and so forth. So let's say, assuming that I click on one, let's say I click on this one, you write the project speech title in here, your short speech introduction, and then you would download the evaluation form to your hard drive and email it to the person that is assigned to you as an evaluator. For example, I am speaker three, so I will send my evaluation form to whoever is evaluator three, which in this case is Mario Lewis. And then I will save the project and speech details. So that this way, when the vice president of education, Lauren Taylor, saves the agenda, all your details would be on there. You can also use the quick role sign up to sign up for a role or a speech. You can of course select a future meeting, show whether you're attending, whether you're not attending, select what role you want to cover, and so forth. If you would like a mentor, you will click on here, and you will say, yes, I would like a mentor to mentor, if you want to mentor someone, or if you would like to, uh, to be a mentor, oh. if you would like to mentor someone, or if you want a mentor for yourself, this is where you cover that area. Here, you edit your profile. So first, let me show you what the section looks like so that then you, you have a bit, you have some awareness. So when you say here, meet our members, 
So here's a list of the members who have set up their profiles. So I wanted to give you an idea of where that is. So now we're going to the members only. And then we go to edit your profile. And here is where you would set up all of your information. So you go to your member bio photo. You write a little description about yourself. You upload your photo. A note on this, your photo is has to be 100 pixel by 100 pixel. So in other words, it has to be a perfect square. So just bear that in mind before you upload your picture. You can also set up your social links. So here I have all of my social links all set up. And some some of the the um, some of the links, for example, let's say if you have your own your own personal website, right? That you have your own logo for. Of course, that will not be here. So you will have to upload that logo to what is called the file manager before you can put it here. So once you upload it to the file manager then you will set it up in this fashion, just the way they have it showing on here. And then you will save it and close it. Okay, so let's look at other details. So here is the explanation of all the meeting roles that I went through before. If you cover the general evaluator role, there's a script. And here is the script for the uh, counter grammarian role as well. And a script for the timer. These others do not pertain to you, so you don't have to worry about those. Here is the club calendar in case you want to know details about what is happening at our club. And of course, we already went through the about us section. Here's the explanation of executive club officer role, which by the way, pretty soon we'll be, we will start recruiting for that because the, the year ends as of July 30th, as of June 30th of the year. So by May, we it, it's, it's an ideal situation for you to start thinking about if you would like to cover an executive role in the club. Here we have our video gallery of the club, which this happens to be one of the, the, the favorite sections, believe it or not, that people come to visit our site for. Here is our Impact 21 newsletter. our mission as a club, as a district, and part of Toastmasters International. Different speaker hints that allow you to become a better speaker to get yourself ready so that you don't feel as anxious when you, when you speak. The winner's circle where it shows all the different areas that our club have won, that our club has won competitions.
and different voice techniques. So as you can see, there is a lot of information in your club website that you can use for your own, for your own self-improvement, right? So th there's, there's a lot of cool stuff on here that you really should look at. And now I will log out, I will log out and stop the share. I'd like to thank you very much for being part of this virtual class. I hope that you have learned a lot about your club website. If you have any questions, by all means, contact me at impact21estrada at gmail.com. That's I-M-P-A-C-T 21 E-S-T-R-A-D-A at gmail.com. And see you at our next club meeting. Bye now.